policy review. The first in our series will be protecting your network with IPS. IPS, the Intrusion Prevention Service, is one of the many engines that detect and prevent malware from, traver from traversing into your network from the untrusted public internet. In order to be able to use this function, you must have an AP IPS license or have the security suite. To check this, open up your policy manager, go into your setup, hit feature keys, and it will show you your licenses. If it says expired or it says not available, then you do not have this function available to you. Please give us a call and we can price out exactly what uh, you need to get this going. In the security policy, in the security subscriptions tab, you go to intrusion prevention and click the enable button. There are five levels. Used to be 100, now there are only five. Critical, high, medium, low, and information. WatchGuard has over 2.5 million signatures covering all five categories. By default, all but the lowest is dropped, which is the information category. I also recommend changing the low level action to allow. If it's actually going to be a hack or some malware, it'll eventually get into the medium, high, and critical. So I would, I would move this to allow. The other thing you want to do is make sure you hit update server and enable the automatic update and choose both intrusion prevention and application control signatures and gateway antivirus signatures. Default is every hour. That's fine. Notice that the server actually will reach out for uh, updates for the HTTPS services.watchguard.com. In order to do this, you have to make sure that you have your DNS set for the device itself so it can resolve the URL. Once that is done, click on the Policies tab to make sure that you enable the functionality for all the different services. Notice that these services do not have to be proxies. They can be filters. So all the policies that are in our security policy, all the, all the different filters, all the different uh, services are represented here. You can click on all of them and select the action and say enabled, or you can disable them. I suggest that you enable all the different policies. That way everything in and out of the firewall is actually being checked. To monitor the IPS status, once you have this done and you saved it to the firewall, you go to the Firebox System Manager and go to the Subscription Services tab and you can actually see the intrusion prevention and see the effect that it's having on your network. Scans performed, in this case, 112,671,46 since the last restart of the device. It shows you your installed updates, your installed versions, and it also shows you how many intrusions it detected and how many intrusions it prevented. The difference between the intrusions detected and prevented can be harrowing, but, but the, the difference is that even though we've allowed information and we've allowed low level, this is the difference. We've actually seen that happen 11 times. So intrusions, although all of them are considered intrusions, the only ones that we're blocking are the top three. We're letting the bottom two. There were actually 11 that, fall, that fell within the bottom two. Anyway, this has been the first uh, of many uh, that we're going to do. If you have any topics that you'd like to see, please give me a call. Uh, at 1-800-875-1240. Again, 800-875-1240, or you can email me at rick at red-writer.com. Writer is R-I-D-E-R. See you then. Bye-bye.